Guys, do you know that one ONG called PETA? People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals? Yeah. They make games. Parody games. Parody vegan games. Today we're gonna be playing the Pokemon parody that PETA made. It's called Pokemon Black and Blue. And it's most likely fucking trash. I'm not a vegan to any stretch of the imagination, but still... At the end of the day, it's just a choice if you don't want to eat any animal products or wear animal skin or do animal experiments because every everybody does that. Anyways, here's the game. Oh, never mind. You actually have to wait for Adobe Flash to start and then... Oh, okay, okay, okay. There you go. It looks beautiful. While it's loading, it's really quiet, so I'm gonna add some music to the background. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay. So it looks very good, right? Um, in here, you can actually see a lot of treasures that you can actually find through the game. Uh, let's just go ahead and play. <laughs> As battling Pokemon grew in popularity, generations of children were growing up believing that Pokemon exist for no other reasons than to be used and abused by humans. Children learn about dominance instead of compassion. While Pokemon faced the worst abuses, children also started bullying each other until one Pokemon decided he had enough. And this happened. Yeah, the game is essentially inspired by the concept of Pokemon being used for fighting and hurting each other. As a concept, it's it's been done, but as a game, it's kinda original actually. The Pokemon have to fight the trainers by themselves. It plays exactly like you'd expect, like you can see here. But the gimmick is that the Pokemon get revenge on the trainers and I can use aggressive attacks or peaceful attacks, kinda like Undertale. For example, you can give group hugs or protest. Of course, peaceful protesting, just like PETA does. It doesn't hurt anybody. <coughs> yeah, no. Of course, you can also use the aggressive attacks, because of course you want to kill the other guy. And when you do, they don't actually die, they just start arguing and then the guy faints. Where's the violence? I need some blood, I need violence in my life. Dude, why are you acting so psychopathic and creepy? Because I love killing people, and if you don't shut up right now, I will slit your throat. Ah, uh, it's alright. At least I'm not an animal. The good thing is, we got another Pokemon, a Tepic, and I'm not good with names, so I'm just gonna call him Huge Dick. Huge, really big. <laughs> okay, there you go. Let's get going. In this section, we get a lot of pandering to vegan people, of course, because that's what that's what PETA does, and eventually, the nurse just encountered gives you a treasure. And inside the chest, there's a really sad video. It's a music video with a lot of animal suffering, and it's actually kinda, kinda sad, so if you don't wanna be sad, d don't fucking watch it. I mean, some of the stuff that is shown in the video is kinda not safe for life anyway, so, yeah. Okay, so, now you have to get to the global terminal of the city. And there's a few more fighters and creepy people to fight during your playthrough. Like this freaking professor, I mean... I'm not a big Pokemon fan, but the game is really easy, actually. There's much more pandering than fighting in the game, you know? Okay, there you go. Honestly, there's not much to the fights. It's, it's just so... so boring. There's nothing I can say that could make this game be a little more fun. It's so... so boring, man. And look, now, now the Pokemon and the trainer are fucking <coughs> talk, are talking again. If I was playing anything else, I'd probably tell somebody to fucking kill me because I'm so bored. But I can't do that now because I would be saying, hey, kill me because I'm a bunny. And that's animal abuse, animal cruelty. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm losing my grip of reality. <laughs> And we get another Pokemon, a Snivy. He's gonna be called Blinder Jr. Oh man, S Snivy is my favorite Pokemon. Some happiness, finally. Oh shit, another, another chest. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> I don't want to see what's inside the chest. Man, don't worry. I will open it for you. Just close your eyes. I heard you like my caps. Yo, blinder is just... What the fuck is blinder? Sorry, man. I was wiping my tears off with my fox fur trench coat. <laughs> because, yeah, in the moon, the bunnies chase the foxes, not the other way around. Uh, so anyway, um, we have to keep going, I guess. But I'm scared of getting another chest and getting all creeped out over it, and... Oh, never mind, they just fucking gave me a wallpaper. <laughs> that That's better, I guess. I mean, I would never use it, but it's better than whatever this was. Okay, second to last fight. Let's do it. Okay, I'm just realizing that she's called Huge Dick, but she's uh, a female. Okay. <laughs> you know, guys, in this channel, we support trans rights. Okay, so this guy is a representation of the people who like using animal fur and skin as a business in fashion. I mean, it, it doesn't look like that, but... <laughs> but okay, 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 boomer. I'm gonna switch to my favorite Pokemon, Snivy, aka Blinder Jr. The best guy ever. Never mind, he's also a female. Okay, so I was actually afraid that I would not be able to defeat him, but I did, so... Yeah. Nothing happens. They keep saying the obvious things, they repeat it through the game and in their campaigns that animals are friends and you shouldn't, f uh, you shouldn't eat them or, or use your skin. But that makes no sense, as I always eat my friends. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for the nightmare fuel. So we get the last Pokemon, an Oshawott, and I didn't have a clue what to call him. So I looked around and found the dead crap in my desktop. Amazing, right? And I was feeling a little British, so I called him Cont Crab. Eat my oars. <laughs> Eventually, after walking for a bit, you find the last chest of the game, and it's a set of trading cards. It went from really creepy to really nice and useless. Anyway, the last thing you have to fight in the game is Ash. Yeah, Ash from Pokemon, obviously. Ash and Pikachu argue for a bit and scream at each other like normal shit, and then the intense violence begins. But yeah, it's just as mundane and boring as the other fights, even though I'm using a, a new Pokemon. <laughs> My dear cunt crap. And the ending is ridiculous because Ash gets inspired to make an organization to fight animal abuse. Shit, I meant to say Pokemon abuse. Pokemon ethnically treated. And the ending is just as boring as you'd expect. It's just this. What did you think of the game? It was the best game I've ever played in my fucking life! Shorty, I don't give a fuck about your opinion. This game is terrible and boring, and I don't wanna eat animals anymore. I want to eat the people who made this game possible. Because I'm sure human meat tastes just fine. As I showed you in the beginning, Peter has made a bunch of different parody vegan games, but I'm not gonna play any more of them because they're just shameless parodies with boring gameplay. And that's essentially my thoughts on this garbage game. Do you wanna add anything to the video? Uh, we just received a lawsuit. Man, what the fuck is this? Okay, fuck it. I'm not gonna stay here and pretend like I'm not sad about this. So you know what? I'm gonna fight Peter on a Pokemon battle. Fuck it. I'm ready. ready. Go, shit cat. Come on, I choose you. Shit cat, use Corona screen. Triggers? Oh no, I'm black now. Come on, use psychedelics. Okay.
think doing that would be a little too experimental and out there for, you know, YouTube. Yeah, yes, I'm here to meet now. 